Yes, welcome back to Huawei Namaste TV show. And you know, every day is exciting here on Huawei Namaste TV show, but there are a few days where we get overexcited and that's because of the people who come and grace us to this show. And it's the story behind their struggle. It's the spark of their success that touches all of our lives. And to do just that, we have not just one, but we have two special guests today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and pleasure to welcome the diva of the Nepali movie industry, Priyanka Karki and the director of this latest sensation, How Funny the Movie, Nilu Dolma Sharpa. Music, guys, where's the music? Hi! <laughs> Looking Hello, gorgeous. Hi! Hello. <coughs> All right. How excited are you as a director? It's your first movie, I'm, I'm, commercially. I'm excited. I'm more than excited. I'm like, I think I'm very nervous. Nervous? Nervous about what? Nervous about the reaction of people, how they're going to react to this comedy that I've got for them. Mm -hmm. What about you, Priyanka? Your movie, like every month, there's a new movie that's coming. You know, <laughs> Priyanka, go. how different do you feel this time? Um, I think this is a very special film for me because it's the first time I'm actually sharing uh, maximum screen space with another female co-actor which hardly happens in the industry here because we still run by the lines that females are supposed to be um, supporting the male actor and you know you can never get a successful film if you only have it on a woman's shoulder and so that's still there so this is like a challenge for us and um, Pushpa and Ramita is me and Kiki and uh -huh. um, and you guys are best friends in real life too I know yeah, we're very we keep good seeing your yes. posts and yes, send your so I think that is why the, that. Uh, chemistry the chemistry is so natural and nice on screen that's what a lot of people said after the premiere as well and um, I don't know I'm very excited I'm not really scared I'm very excited uh, to show something new to the audience something very different mm -hmm. uh, Nilu the premiere last night was amazing and you know, all the stars under one roof everybody excited to watch the movie how funny because the promotions have gone well so much for this movie now tell me why did you pick comedy it could have been thriller horror uh, anything but why comedy well, actually what happened was uh, I didn't pick comedy or the story I think the story picked me this time. <laughs> yeah. So it, it just so happened that I have been planning planning films for a long, long time. But uh, I think uh, after I met obviously uh, Priyanka and Kiki, and we saw their chemistry, and we mm -hmm. saw how crazy they are, <laughs> and then we thought like, like hey, in real life, in real life. So we thought like, oh, it's still characters of film and kill alive, and and that is how that's, that's how, when it started. Yeah, exactly. That's how funny actually started, uh -huh. and so. And then, of course, the three of them actually, uh, Priyanka, Keiki, and Daya. Mm -hmm. So the, the three characters that you see in the film, they're actually almost like that in real life. In the real life. It must almost. have been so easy to work with all three <laughs> actors this way as a director. Yeah, I mean, like, I look at the over-exaggerated the you know, but I have taken my liberty, you know. But on uh, new ones, they're almost it's the new real life ma bani nar jun screen ma dekhe almost it is still kati important un sa yara film ko naam catchy hona kinen how funny is a very catchy name you know how funny you and itike ban zulan ban rounds how important do you think it is no i think uh, I, I have been blessed uh, with a uh, lot of things with this film okay? and i always tell the priyanka knows i always say this movie has the hand of god man okay? no matter what has happened in, like in, th throughout the making it, there's always been hand of god so even the name was the same we were thinking ki naam rakhne ki naam ramita pusa we rakhne ki and so did the story come first and the name come later? Yes, mm -hmm. the story came first and then uh, the name, the, the actors came first mm -hmm. and then the story yeah. <laughs> and then the name came later. Okay? Uh -huh. And so Titi ke drive got a fork on the head and we were just like, my god, this is this is going to be such a funny story, you know, and how funny. <laughs> and we were just like, my god, that's how the name came. Yeah, uh -huh. like how funny is a good catchy name. Uh -huh. But I made sure I asked everyone. Okay, gangu dekhi dera sabu dera. How funny man? I buzan. No, why ni kiwa na? How funny man? I nu buzan na ta hami. So you wanted everyone to yes, understand this. Definitely. So how funny is not a movie that's just made for the multiplexes for the oh, single theaters as well. No, uh, I think how funny is a movie that's made for entertainment, and that's for everyone. We th this is not a targeted to multiplex audience in any single theater. This is just a film, pure entertainment. Mm -hmm. Film man, pashi Priyanka this. 
so much complications in it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, how much you can do, 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 it's so complicated. And you're one person who rules the multiplex at the same time who rules single theatres as well with Naina Bandula, you know, and so many other names. Yeah, I can't even remember because there's so <laughs> many, you know. How do you see this, you know, as an actress, uh, when you get a movie, when you pick a movie and you look at all these audience that's widespread and you're one common link between these two, how do you feel? How do you see this? I think uh, for me, I never look at films as, okay, your film say I'm going to do it because it's going to go to the multiplex and mm -hmm. this film I'm going to do it because it's going to go to single theatres. Mm -hmm. I just do films because I love doing them. Do you think there are actors who do that? I'm multiplex sure there are. Lie, single I'm, sure there. I'm sure there are <laughs> actors who want to identify themselves only as uh, multiplex actors. To Naya Dar films when near when I'm sure there are people who say I know mother I'll make movies for the masses I'm sure people think differently everybody has their own opinions but for me I think a film is a film I don't think there's any anybody would actually or should make a film saying mother multiplex I'm not along so much single theater I'm not along so I think you should make films for everyone the more the people watch it the better it is for you but then it's very difficult right now in our industry to find that common ground where you can balance out both the theatres. A lot of people can't do that, I think. Mm -hmm. But if you get that and if you understand that, then I think you've done it because everybody's going to watch your films. And I want to be part of those films mm -hmm. that is made out of mm -hmm. love and made out of so much work and made for everyone. I think it's always good to be um, known face both in the multiplexes and single theatres. Mm -hmm. so. As an actress, you've proved that. Uh, what about you, Nilu? As a director, do you think it's uh, possible to make both these uh, audiences happy? with one film? Yeah, I think definitely. Uh, it's, it's a matter of choice. Uh, what you're going to do. What did you choose? I, I have chosen to entertain people. That has been my sole target since, I've, like, since I wanted to start my career. Like, uh, uh, it is just plain entertainment because I think cinema should be such where regardless of what genre it is, it has to be entertaining. At the end of the film, if you think that you weren't, like, you weren't satisfied or you like, haven't enjoyed the film, then there's no point in making it. So I think uh, I make cinema to entertain people. Mm -hmm. So I, I think mm, to a certain extent uh, with how funny we've tried to do that. Uh, make cinema for everyone. So it's, it's not, I think that's why we got the U certificate. Really. <laughs> it's, for, it's for everyone. It's for everyone. <laughs> everyone. Exactly. Yeah. Tell yeah. me a little bit about the story. Because this is how funny the story. Well, uh, it's funny definitely, yes of course. Yes, I watched the movie. I, I, right. think, uh, <laughs> I, I think I wouldn't be wrong if I say it's probably the first like out and out Nepali chick flick. Uh -huh. you know? So it, it is yeah. for like girls, it, it's for women, uh, it, it's a fun film. And what we've tried to do is we've just put in an element of uh, like detective story in it. Mm -hmm. you know? So that is really different. I don't, like I can't recall uh, the last detective in Nepali film. China, I don't yes, think there that's was. So <laughs> especially no. with women lead. <laughs> in, in lead. Women lead yeah. my paper. And then women trying to do comedy. Uh -huh. you know? I think I have such vibrant <laughs> characters here. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so the story is basically uh, the journey of two friends. This is the story of friendship. So, and uh, how they move forward in life, and, and how they overcome, you know, the obstacles that they have. Mm -hmm. So that is basically like the outline of the story. But uh, I think more than you know. We've already showed in the trailer as well. The story is actually about finding Hira who goes missing, mm -hmm. and then the CIB gets two of these girls to find her. That's <laughs> the basic story. And then we've already given it out in the trailer because that is not the main story, I don't think. I think it's a journey for me personally. I'm not trying to, you know, <laughs> steal your thunder or anything. But for it's me, okay. yeah. Fair chance but for me, get back I think to her too. Uh, while I was doing Ramita and while I was understanding the story, I think it's a journey for these two girls to find themselves, maybe. Mm -hmm. let's, let's discover have, who they yeah. are. Yeah, let's have a look at the trailer for the ones who have not watched it. But then, you know, you, the, when this trailer was out, in two days, what, it hit like 3 lakh views? Yeah, something I, like that. Yes, we, we did like 2.5 lakhs yeah. in three days. In yeah. three days, 2.5 yeah. lakh views of the trailer of the movie. If you've not watched it, this is your opportunity. And guess what? It's releasing tomorrow in theaters near you. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting you the trailer of the movie. How funny. 22nd April, that is tomorrow. Save the date, guys. So let me ask you, Nilu, eh, a lot of directors, eh, when they make a movie, uh, they try to relate their real life into it. They have a little bit of splash <laughs> of their real life into it. Have you done that? Yeah, that's all of me. <laughs> I, you know, it's all, the is all me. <laughs> all of it. All, all of it. So, so where was the hard work? What was the most difficult thing about making this movie? Um, I think... Uh, this movie surprisingly was not uh, difficult in the sense of making the film you know uh, the making for me was really smooth I think I have never been on set which has like run this smoothly mm -hmm. like 
I've assisted so many um, like directors. I've been on set so many times. Um, but I think uh, the difficult part for me was uh, to really get people to believe in me um, as a director. Uh, like but these are your friends that you're yeah. working with. Like no. every character that you see exactly. on the screen, uh, I doubt Rishi <laughs> Tamalai. <laughs> but everyone else, you know, yeah. they're Initially amazing Initially when people. I was starting out, you mm -hmm. know, it was really uh, difficult to get uh, people to really believe in. Like uh, if I told anyone, I'm a film, 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 I'm a film. So that, that was there initially. And the film was made, but I was a big deal to get the movie out there. You know, uh, there was a lot of uh, struggle in between to get the movie out. Um, a lot of struggle because we saw the bookamp of Right. But so the patch done back it here. to get uh, even work on that patch that we had left the songs. We had uh, three songs that we had to shoot. So to to get that covered, it was really difficult because this is Naka Bandi boy. Mm -hmm. So like uh, naturally, uh, like not just uh, work, but it, it was str mentally stressed. I was mentally stressed, and then we we got a little bit of strain financially too. So there was a lot of things that went in. But besides that, making was smooth. Making was amazing, making you was would really say. Making was smooth, yeah. You know? uh, Priyanka, tell me this. Uh, when you pick movies, when you pick characters, when you're given a certain character, uh, how do you work on it? I'm sure you've got this question a lot of time, but does is it the director that brings out the character in you? Or is it you yourself that bring out the character alive? I think it's best if we work together in this one, say, because um, there's a certain vision the director has in every film for the character that they want us to do. But now if we are also going to give a hundred percent and, you know, try to make the best out of the character and say, okay, ma bol la bol su. some films I do really high pitch, some I go really low. Uh, sometimes we experiment with the clothes we wear, the hairstyles was like <laughs> all haywire yesterday for Amitabha. Uh -huh. So these are things I think we discuss and we do it together. So when the director and the actor discusses, the character, I think that's when the best results come out. And I, I tried to work that way. Uh -huh. uh, tell me, how did you prepare for Ramita? Oh, God, Ramita was like <laughs> Ramita. <laughs> Ramita is like, I've watched the movie, you know, so Ramita is, she's crazy. She does things her way. She does not care about the society, the world. Yes. <laughs> she just wants to be happy. She wants to look pretty all the time. She <laughs> loves herself more than anyone. And that is one character really difficult to pull off, you know. <laughs> I think you should describe me as a character. <laughs> <laughs> that is her too, yes, totally. No, I think I, I love myself. I think there's no shame or harm in saying that. I, I really do. And I think that is what she picked out. I think, uh, like how she said, the, the characters in the film are really inspired from what she saw off screen in me and Kiki. And from me, I think what she picked out is the fact that, you know, I really don't care about what the society says or what <laughs> people say. And I try to do whatever I feel like doing. And I'm happy and I'm comfortable in whatever I'm doing. And I have this energy, this undying energy of achieving so much. Where do you and get so that energy from? Please tell us <laughs> the source too, because we need it sometimes. <laughs> so I think that is what she picked out from my character and put it in Ramita's. But other than that, the loudness and the way she is and the way she dresses up and looks, oh my God, like slap me if you see me <laughs> outside like that. <laughs> like oh, with the ribbon, all yeah. colors, all together, like a Christmas tree. But then that was the character. And it yeah. I had so much fun um, doing that character. I think if you closely look at some of the scenes, then I have polka dot eyeshadow that yes. I've worn, polka dot nail polish. And little details. Dot, yes, little details that Ramita would do. And I'm sure there's so many girls like Ramita living outskirts of Kathmandu and in villages that see these characters and try to become like them. So that's that's a very genuine effort we've made with Ramita. But just be very honest here. What was the most difficult thing about being Ramita? Um, the most difficult? The most difficult thing about I think most of, the, most of it comes to you naturally now because you're such a fine actress. You know? <laughs> but uh, I was in challenges. Oh my God, I'm just, I'm just not getting this. And saying, why is it so difficult, Pani? What was it about Ramita? No, I think or nothing at beginning, all. I beginning, be when we were going on floor, say, I had this uh, fear that it's going to be completely dialogue driven film between two like female co stars. Right. And it was very important for me to make sure I maintain my energy just like Keiki's and I have to do just like her. But the door is not there. Oh my God, what if she does better than me? Because you so fear on so But then when we went on floor the first day, our chemistry was like on point every day, you know? It was like, if I had chemistry like that with an actor, uh -huh. and we would make such a beautiful love story. But then this <laughs> chemistry, I don't think I've even shared with any of the male co-actors, the kind mm -hmm. of chemistry we had. It was like on point where she would end, I would pick up my dialogue and then when I would end, she would pick up and Amro's script was done but we would still keep going on and she's like, you know, shut up guys, why are you going on and on? <laughs> but I think we were so comfortable doing it that after a while, 
nothing was scary anymore. And then we kept doing it with so much energy and love for what we do. I think that's why it looks the way it does right now. Beautiful. But nothing beautiful. was challenging. Like nothing was challenging? Wow. I wouldn't be surprised to get an answer <laughs> like that from the Priyanka Karki, right? Uh, he's a premier, both of you. Red carpet premier, everybody well dressed, you know, not everybody, but uh, <laughs> yeah, most of them. Oh uh, it was an amazing <laughs> evening of uh, laughter, smile, love. Everybody was just happy, excited. So many emotions all came together. And guess what? We've uh, compiled a lot of pictures, especially just for you. It's not even out on our page anywhere. Like even to Priyanka last I night, know. you know, I told her there are so many amazing pictures of you that I am so tempted to send, but you know, I'm just going to send one or two. The rest will watch it on the show, but at Himaili, which we'll be doing right here on Huawei Namaste TV show. But uh, you know, the mean person I am who loves to keep you waiting all the time is going to take a short commercial break here. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. <laughs> Oh yes, welcome back to a very special episode of Huawei Namaste TV show. And you know, there are moments every day, trust me in my life when I say this, every day when I realize that I have the best job in the world, where I can just invite my friends over, chat, <laughs> and you know, non-stop, off-air, you know, we're just talking, talking, talking. So what we were talking off-air, as I said earlier, the last night's premiere of the movie, How Funny. So what was the response? All right, before the response, and let me... How was the preparation for the premiere? Uh, premiere rakne, na rakne, kosto gorne, ka gorne, all these. Oh my god, it was... I always knew that I would do a premiere. Even before I did the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew that I would do a premiere one. You know? But uh, the, uh, the, the time I need... Then I wasn't sure if I'm going to do the premiere one. You know? But uh, that thing was always in my head, like, oh, premiere the <coughs> gorne. It's your first film, what are you saying? You've done everything in this film that you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So you've got to do the premiere one. But, uh, but it was a uh, last moment thing, finally I was <coughs> like, like let's just do the premiere one. So like everybody got a call one night earlier mm -hmm. to come for the premiere one. Um, so we were still preparing for everything. Uh, like uh, my mother, she is also the producer of the film. Right? And so I told her like your guests also, you know, like you call them. And so I told everyone 6.30, but she ended up calling them at 6 o'clock. And mm -hmm. then they showed up at 5.30. Oh my you know? God. <laughs> <laughs> so it was so crazy. You know, really? And like I was pulling the red carpet, I was trying to fix it and I said, the guests are already there <laughs> and I'm still in the same clothes. Which director does <laughs> that? Give fixing the red carpet for the premiere. <laughs> Only Nilu. <laughs> Only Nilu. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, what are you doing? And I so okay. So, no, you know what the cutest part was? The film was over right now and everybody left and we were staying until the end and we were all going to go out for dinner and then I told her, let's go Nilu. And she wait, everybody left? I have to take the carpet also. And I went back to the thing. <laughs> I'm holding the carpet again. <laughs> oh my god! So oh my god! So it it was a pretty last moment, but it was it was good. Oh my god! So it was a pretty last moment, but in my head it was not last moment. But when when it happened, <laughs> it <was laughs> last moment nervousness, oh. of course. Yeah. Yeah. By also, you know? so why do you think? Because in a lot of movies, in the premier rakhe pani media le naaram le likti na saksa the movie chal da na la pani. So good aar pani unse ni movie na. Actually, I didn't get a lot of that. A lot of people told me like, boy ni kina premier rakne unse ni. But why don't you do a press show? Uh -huh. then after the film releases, why don't you do a press show so that all over you know, it's a film go, you know all. And I was like, no, it's, it's my first film. And I, I'm, I'm not going to do like a it's press show and do a whole over because that's unfair. That's, that's like I'm cheating myself if I'm going to do a press show and pay for my own show. You know? uh -huh. And then the collection Ali Ramra boy, but that's like I'm cheating myself, mm -hmm. which means I don't have confidence in myself. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, premier, premier is for everyone. And it's 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 for people really <laughs> close to me, and, and obviously family and friends. That's how they are my cast, and, and who will I, I'm I'm really skeptical. Eh? I don't know like how they do it. They're really skeptical that after the film is over, does the cast and crew really watch the film? Mm -hmm. You know, and then so many people say that film like all my likes are just dancing, dancing, and I'm sure. And then, but when you call them at the premiere, you know that and so they're going to watch. They're the gonna film. watch the movie. Yeah. So tell you that uh, it was important for me. That I did a premiere, even though people said, like, oh, don't do it, they'll write a stukura. So if they don't like it, they'll, they'll start writing bad things about it and all that. So, I so what, are, what are the everything. reviews that you're getting from people? Uh, I have, again, like the trailer, uh, mixed reviews, and, and I'm glad that I get mixed reviews because I think that just. Uh, you know, builds more curiosity. Mm -hmm. Like exactly, cost of that. But uh, I'm very happy with the response that I've got so far. Mm -hmm. But then again, I'm very skeptical <laughs> about those responses because they're my friends and family, you know, uh -huh. and people who like like me and so giving me a response. So I'm just I'm just waiting for tomorrow to happen, and then I, I want to see what the audience is going to say about the film. 
My God, something <laughs> so exciting to look forward to yeah, tomorrow. And absolutely. It's a big day. Priyanka, now tell me this. How do you manage to look so gorgeous in every appearance that you make anywhere? Oh literally. <laughs> literally. Okay, literally. Um, I've I never seen you in a state where I cannot call you a diva. Oh. <laughs> No, I think it's a very conscious effort that I make every time because uh, when you're a public figure, I think it's a huge responsibility that a lot of people tend to forget because there are so many people who look up to you and I'm, I'm not saying you always have to look like a diva or anything, but at least it's good to always make an effort. And especially in my case, because I love myself so much, <laughs> it feels nice to look nice, you know, and then he, I look at the mirror so many times and I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> so I think, I don't know, I, li I enjoy... Um, um, following trends and I enjoy trying to do different things and looking different with every appearance and I think now it's something that people expect out of me as well so I can't let myself down and let others down. But like that. isn't that, doesn't that feel like a pressure sometimes, the constant need to look pretty, the constant need to be proper all the time, behave all the time, compose yourself all the time. When Zeni, you're going out in the restaurant for example, let's say you want to eat a big fat burger and you're, and you're like conscious people are watching me, can I really do this? All these thoughts, does it come hit you? Well, well, burgers are my favorite thing. I always <laughs> eat burgers. Tell yeah. And chicken wings. There I eat go. chicken wings like there crazy. It's like wings all over my face. <laughs> but no, this is what i saying. The things I like to eat that I eat. I was like, oh my God, take I'll go and wash my face and wear lipstick again later. Khaliko. But then, yeah. <laughs> After I'm done. <laughs> But I think staying composed and you know proper and all the we've done it so much that I think it just comes naturally, naturally. like how it comes naturally to you because mm -hmm. we do it so much and I don't think there's any harm in looking nice and being presentable and looking like I think that is what we should do as public figures. I think we should always look, if not appealing, attractive, oh my god, so nice. Like, no, but at least it's presentable. Race. She's mm -hmm. always nicely dressed. She always sits properly, talks properly. So I think it doesn't harm. I think everybody should do that. Mm -hmm. uh, before we look at the pictures from the premiere, I want to quickly get into this because um, I'm really excited to ask this. Uh, recently on Facebook, uh, a post of yours went really viral. People mm -hmm. started talking about it. Uh, tell me what was it all about? Um, I think a lot of people, uh, let's say when people uh, talk to me, they, they say uh, that I hit a really low point in my life and I wrote that, mm -hmm. which is not the case. I'm very strong. In fact, Nothing we even shared today. it on the show because yeah. it, everybody was talking about it and we thought we must bring yeah, light to then, this. But then, you know, that, that wasn't a low point in my life for me feeling upset and sad and depressed and writing anything. A lot of people took it that way. But I did want to address this thing uh, for a very long time mm -hmm. because it's not just in my profile, it's in everybody's profile. Mm -hmm. And you don't even have to be a public figure. If you're just a girl and if you have, like, you know, modern clothes on, that could even be like a full length band and t-shirt or anything. And then if you're trying to do your own daily things and you're putting a post picture, you're putting a selfie, you're pouting, it has become so easy for people to just go and write whatever they want to. You know, it's because... But don't you think that's gonna never end? I, I know mean, it's gonna never end. I think it's okay for people to just, you know, Social networking is all about connecting to people and making friends and getting to know new people right. and whatever. So if I put something up or if you put something up and if somebody doesn't like it, they have every right to come to your picture and say, you know, I don't like whatever you're wearing because I don't like the color or it's not looking nice or it's not matching. I don't like your lipstick. I don't like your hair. Anything. Because that's like, you know, a criticism that they're making from their point of view. Right. But nobody gives you the right to call names. Right. for no reason you know and a lot of people think that these abusive comments only come on pictures where you know if the girl is wearing like a bikini or like a short half band or like a short dress one piece whatever mm -hmm. but it's not like that I actually did like a lot of research last week to go <laughs> to so many different profiles and you know how much I get into this thing so and then I was just going everywhere and I was like okay now I think this is time for me to actually use this platform because there's so many people who look up to me and follow me and who love me right. to raise this issue so that you know people will start talking about it mm -hmm. and then if I start bringing those pictures and screenshotting them and then you know putting it out there of all the people who are doing all these things okay not see but she largely matter weapon if they'll stop doing it or mm -hmm. if they'll realize that you know how bad it is so if I put up one screenshot of one person who said something really nasty and then the name is up there so imagine how many comments that person got in their inbox or like, which was equally bad and harassing and but bad. don't you think that person if he does not care when posting it no I got a few comments by people uh -huh. when they said sorry uh -huh. and they said um, oh my you god you just made someone really really popular yeah. Priyanka do you realize <laughs> that? that person sent me a message saying I'm so sorry uh, because my lead them did gali in the past two days he said he woke up <laughs> this guy woke up and he had a thousand fifty one uh, 
uh, inbox messages, messages. Usko Facebook mein, uh -huh. no? and he had no idea what was going on. Ray. He <gasps> sent me a long like Facebook message. So he did apologize. Ray. Yeah, and then he was like, "It's too bad." Like gali aur aaye thi Ray. Usko Facebook mein. He felt, "Oh my God, what did I do?" And ikdam na aam feel bade ulai. And then pochi pordi ko bichi. It was all addressed to you know. It's just like, like last lakh dinna blah blah this that and a lot of um, address karta karta. My name was also there. So then he realized and then he went to my profile and he saw the screenshot of uh -huh. his comment. Uh -huh. And then he asked me to remove it. He said, "I'm so sorry. I'll make sure I never do it again." So if we have more people like this who realize that ek din unyale hazar ra gali khanda kiri how bad they felt and imagine us girls getting it every day for no reason. Mm -hmm. Nobody deserves to go through all that every day. I think, and so that was We like all a voice. We struggle in our own life. We don't yeah. need extra nonsense so in life. So I just it. wanted to raise a voice for everybody this time. So that you know, actually, people talk about it, and it becomes an issue. And I actually wanted it to become an issue, and it did. So now I've been talking about it in different TV channels, and papers, and magazines, and stuff. And I'm actually even starting up a page now mm -hmm. with a lot of other female celebrities. I'm going to talk to you also about this, and I'm going to make everybody admins. <laughs> and then wherever on any social networking we see any abusive comment on any, any girl's kind of profile, we just take a screenshot and put it on that page. Mm -hmm. That's what all we're going to do. All one against this kind of harassment on social media. We have to stop cyberbullying. I think. Wow, what a great move! Yes. I know you gave that guy a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> Lesson learned. I know, zindagi bichi the na laul le na. But yes, now coming back to the good things in life, and that is the premiere, the talk of the town. Everyone's everyone's been talking about. You go on social networking site, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. The pictures of the premiere of last night of the movie How Funny is all over, and we're going to show you the exclusive pictures shot by our official photographer of Huawei Namaste TV show, Nikesh Kakshapati, who is here smiling. at us clicking more pictures of us you know <laughs> so let's have a look at these pictures but we're going to play a little game with our guest today no so neelu priyanka <laughs> we're going to show you pictures you just have to comment with one word anything that comes to your mind right positive negative nepali ma english ma or any other language <laughs> you prefer chinese anything you know but just one word you know you take turns each and then you just say all right okay. all, right. all right can we have the pictures on the screen please That so long, they're zooming. Wow. <laughs> wow and beautiful. Oh, that that's. Oh. It's like the perfect casting uh, for Vampire Diaries yeah. season seven. <laughs> <laughs> Because Nina left, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Renasha, there. All right, uh, next. It looks fine. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Next picture, please. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Oh my God! I'm in love with that person. It's one word. <laughs> it's one word. You didn't say anything when she used it. That's it. That's what I'm not happy. All right, next picture. Vampire Diaries. Next picture, please. No. I met her this morning at an event and you know she's like the jolly person every I know time. she's so cute she's yeah. so adorable All right next picture we have a lot of pictures coming up Here <laughs> such as yes we are All right go uh, all the cameras behind you it's like oh this the queen has arrived you know next next picture please like i'm not dressed you know please you know i, I know you're going to do something nasty with that picture please you know do not force me to do that, that. we still made him uh, Same, you know, dressed funny. He's also one of those kinds who doesn't uh -huh. dress that much. Uh -huh. Very uh -huh. good. Cool. There you go. Uh, can we?
Looks nice. Yeah. It's like you being nice to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My God. I Hannah is looking like a goddess in that picture. Sometimes I do get to dress up and you know, I get invited <laughs> to all these oh places. Oh no, you Sometimes. dress up every day. <laughs> Dressed, yes. Definitely. Persons you'll meet. Yeah, yeah, you know, make an effort. Politics, yeah, you know, effort. he's gone into that character. All right, do we have... Mm -hmm. He's also very nice, very jolly, happy. They, these two, Deepadi and Deepak, they are so happy and jolly. That's why only good things happen in their life, I think. Oh, I, oh, I, 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 I remember when say. I made the call to him and I asked him to come for the premiere and uh, I said, uh, Monilu, how funny could director? Uh, uh, I didn't know how to address him, you know, because the industry addresses him as Raja, uh, Raja sir. And I was like, should I call him Raja or should I call him like sir? So I was like, sir. And then I went on and on, like after that, I was, I'm, a, I'm a big admirer of yours, you know, like I really like, would appreciate it. So it was like a, a, an invitation turned into a five minute conversation and he was like, that that was it. Never ending you know? conversation. But I got so nervous. So well, he yeah. has that personality. Okay, yeah. All right. Do we have more pictures? I think a few more pictures. She looks nice. Mm -hmm. Newly married. Newly yeah. married. Congratulations. <laughs> major competition to me, yes. yes. My Last night. goodness. Uh, all right, is that... Oh, one word. Okay. She actually only gave one word this time. All okay. right, there you go. Uh, <laughs> those were the pictures from the premiere, which we will be posting on uh, Namaste TV show Facebook page. Uh, time now for a short commercial break on the show, guys. But after the break, we have the most anticipated segment that we have on the show, which is called The Moment of Truth. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Huawei Namaste TV show and without wasting even a single second I want to straight away go to the moment of truth because we have two amazing people and I cannot wait <laughs> to listen to their amazing answers. Uh, Nilu is going to go first. Yes. You know, because Priyanka's done it so many times. You My know. favorite segment. Your fa oh, I'm there excited. you go. Look at the expression. So <laughs> precious. No, such a drama queen you are. You were saying something entirely different during the break. <laughs> I'm so nervous and this and that. My favorite how segment, funny. How funny. How funny. <laughs> All right, let's just start. Eh? Nilu, how confident are you about the movie? How funny? Uh, very hmm. confident. Very? Yes. Okay. Uh, how much would you rate your movie as a viewer? Like one to ten, Koskilma, one being the lowest, uh, ten being the highest, as a viewer, not a director. Be very honest. I, I'd say six, yeah. Matri? <coughs> as a viewer, yeah, six. I think six is good. I, that's a number that people don't reach as well. Oh, you know? <laughs> really? <laughs> there you go. What's one thing that a movie director should have? Uh, I think a uh, sense of direction. <laughs> there you go. What's one thing a movie director shouldn't have? Uh, ego. Hmm. Do you have ego? No. No. Cannot be. Yeah. It's the wrong question. <laughs> Sorry, <Yeah>. my fault. <laughs> All right. Um, star cast or amateur actors? Star cast. Who would you like to work with in the industry? Uh, the list is really long, but uh, as give me top two names. Uh, one uh, name I, I think female. newcomer. I, I would really, really want to work with Samragi. I think she has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, think she's hot? Uh, yeah, definitely, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and the other name. What about uh, Anmol Kesi? Yes, uh, I would like to work with them too. Yeah, you need to bring out yeah, the but not the two of them together. Okay. <coughs> what advice would you like to give to Priyanka as a friend, as an actor, as uh, a director? Uh, as a friend, I would say uh, please I eat more. You know? Didn't she say that she loves burgers it, and chicken wings? Eat healthy. Healthy, <laughs> healthy. okay. Rephrase it. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, as a director, I'd say uh, tone down a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and wh okay, what was the other one? As a, I don't know. What was the other one? As a friend. As a, as a, as a, director. a friend, as a director. Uh, I think that's yeah, about it. Yeah. You know? uh, hottest actress in the industry? Uh, uh, hottest actress in the industry? <laughs> oh, obviously, Priyanka Gargi. Oh, obviously. Can you dance? Uh, me? Oh, I'm, I'm a fantastic dancer. <laughs> ah, we'll see that someday. Uh, what do you think about the award ceremonies in Nepal? Do you think they're fair? <coughs> I think it's the same everywhere. Um, none of the awards are fair. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. Mm -hmm. 
one thing you would like to change about yourself? Uh, I wish uh, I was uh, not as big a bad blabbermouth as I am. Does that bother you though? I don't N think so. It bothers others, not <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, you. You're being so honest. She's being so honest right now. Yeah. Such this big is blabber moment mouth. of truth. No, you know I, I have been like, you know, in my head, I've been practicing this because I knew I'm going to be on this show with someone <laughs> like, And I have to really make an impression. Before you made the yeah, film. Yeah, exactly. Before I made the film. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, there are a few product endorsements, you know? mm -hmm. uh, Who do you think from the media industry, <laughs> from the film industry, from the music industry mm -hmm. suits best? Okay. So okay. you have to name them, right? Uh, hair wig. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. Uh, no, actually, it has been surfaced. I think uh, Jivan Luitel now. Yeah. Jivan Luitel? Yeah. Okay. Uh, mouth freshener. Oh my God, I cannot <laughs> take this name. <laughs> um, uh, oh, endorse it. Yeah, like endorse. Uh, endorse uh, mouth freshener. Yeah, yeah. Just an ad. It's just an ad. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Suresh Darpan should endorse. Suresh mouth Darpan? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dio spray. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> many, the many, the many. We should, but but I think um, <coughs> um, uh, I think maybe <coughs> an actress would endorse it really well. <coughs> but who? Uh, it's a Dio spray. Mm, I, I don't know. It's a Dio spray. So I think somebody young. Uh, well, maybe I I don't know. But I think Nisha would uh, like do a DOS spray really well. Mm -hmm. uh, high end fashion label. High end fashion label. Uh, Samragi. Yeah. Samragi. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, fitness center. Fitness. Mm -hmm. Like a gym. Richa. Richa Sharma. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, acting coaching center. Oh no! This I should have given to Richa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she yeah, give it to her. Yeah, she yeah. takes two, two awards. Yeah, two awards. Well, you've done tremendously yeah, well, you. right? And uh, <coughs> we move on to quickly Priyanka now. Uh, your favorite character that you've played in the movies so far? Um, there's a lot. One. Well, for recent times, it's Ramita. It has to be. Mm -hmm. One thing you hate about Nilu as a director. Um, she makes the film inside her head. Okay? She can't bring it out a lot <laughs> of the time. She can't times. express. Yes. Mm -hmm. What are you scared of? I am scared of insects. Precisely? Cockroaches? Caterpillars? Anything that any flies. Kind of, anything that flies? Yeah. All right, I high five you on that one. <laughs> <sighs> what do you want to say to your haters? You make me more popular, so. Mm -hmm. Good job. You know, Rishi Damal asked you a lot of questions, grilled you, you know. What is one question that you would like to ask Rishi Damala on live TV? Uh, <laughs> I have to, seriously, <laughs> I have to face it. Expression. One question I would ask him is, why is he so hyper? That's what I think what I want to ask him. What do you eat? What do you drink? What no, do you why do? Why is he yeah. so hyper all the time? With uh -huh. everyone. Uh -huh. Uh, because sometimes, you know, I do get to hear Aru interviews that comes on radio in Albany. Uh -huh. So now thinking about it, I just don't feel bad that, oh my God, I was grilled. I think he's just like that with everyone. So I want to ask him why he is so hyper and how. And how. Mm -hmm. uh, back in school, what was your favorite subject? Biology. Biology, uh huh. Do you like to trek? Um, I do, but then, you know, in my head, I think treks are so beautiful and I just imagine the, the way it looks and all that. But then in real, it's not that beautiful. And the same, Matthew, I really have altitude problem, uh -huh. high altitude. Uh -huh. um, so I enjoy trekking in my head. Mm -hmm. Do you diet for some kind of characters that you have to play? Yes, you major. Mm -hmm. Naughtiest prank you've played on someone? What is the naughtiest <laughs> I think the naughtiest prank in recent times is the prank I played on myself uh, for April f uh, 1st uh -huh. when I uh, went and collaborated with Neo stuff and I let them make a joke out of myself. That mm -hmm. is quite mm -hmm. cool. What I'm was the joke? Share, share the joke. But I'm us. debuting into Hollywood with uh, Keanu, Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Oh my God. <laughs> what is the most difficult part about being an actress in the media industry? Um, I think you become too vulnerable and if you can't control that then it's a big damage that you do to yourself I think and mm -hmm. that's because you're open out there and open and anybody can do and attack you in any ways so you've got to stay really strong and mm -hmm. if you can't then that's really gonna ruin your life mm -hmm. ever beaten up a guy for misbehaving with you <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's like yes many times yes many times. all right uh, what career suits these people the best okay all right uh, a dancer I think who's gonna fit into this 
um, someone BMSK. who's not into it but uh, could be oh could be someone yeah. who's not good in it but could be <clears throat> I think Richa because I know that she's really been uh, practicing for an event that's happening and mm -hmm. she really Amar has Panshi. the energy yeah for Amar right. she really has the energy and uh, I think anybody can dance you just need to practice uh -huh. so I think she would be a beautiful dancer if she danced What tomorrow. about a chef who do you think could turn out to be a wonderful chef Wonderful chef Ashita Badil <laughs> <laughs> I a bartender A bartender me Oh. I think it's so fancy doing all that. I think I would fancy doing that. It'd yeah. Be fun. Who's the CEO material that you see from the industry? CEO material. Who is the CEO material? None. That's why they're in the industry types. Yeah. <laughs> I think Bhuvan Kesi would be like a CEO material. Really? Yeah. Wow. What about a politician? Everybody. Everybody <laughs> does politics. Wow. Uh, a beautician? <laughs> Um, <coughs> beautician, but then who's not already doing it, but who has the potential, right? Yes. Or, yeah. Or whoever you think, you know, suits it or fits into that career. Mala Limbu. Mala Limbu? Yeah. Yeah. I think she's a great good dance. makeup. Yeah, she's a great dancer too, too actually. Yeah. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, what about spiritual guru? You know, who do you think could make a great spiritual guru? I think Nisha, because she's into all that uh, very much. <laughs> yeah. I think she, yeah? she, she would make a... What about uh, a psychiatrist? A psychiatrist. Who's good at counseling? Who, who, who do you think? Uh, there, there are a lot of people who counsel, but half the times you don't know if they if mean it. If it's real or not. Or if they don't mean it. Uh -huh. uh, good counselor, I think even this one could be a good counselor. Nilu? Yeah. She's oh. very good at giving advices to other people, but not following her herself. All right. Um, yeah. What about a salesperson? Salesperson. Richa. Oh, she's she's bagging two <laughs> awards in I both know. the moment of truth. Huh? <laughs> Last but not the least, <coughs> queen. You know, someone who can rule a kingdom like Elizabeth does, you know. Oh, that has to be me. Oh, my God. I <laughs> totally knew the answer to this one. Well, job well done. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And all the very best for How Funny, which is releasing tomorrow, guys. You have to watch this movie. It's, it is something out of this world. I don't want to speak all of it but you know you really have to go to the theaters and see how amazing each of the characters have done their part as characters and how Nilu has put in her effort you know you can actually see that little, little details that you see you know when we watch something we're very judgmental you know like it or not accept it or not we are very judgmental and we do l notice all these things and in how funny you'll not find a single flaw where you can point out and say that could have been done better all right. Thank you so much, Nilu. Thank you so much, Priyanka, for Thank joining you. us. And for the first time, we're releasing this disco song yes. from yes. the movie. First time on television. First time ever on your screens right now. And thank you so much, Thank guys, you. for joining us. Thank you.